Hey guys, it's Jay here, Jmedia One. We have a treat for you today. We have the full name VL2 wireless lavalier microphone system for iPhone, iPad, MacBook with noise reduction. This thing is a 22 UHF channel lapel omnidirectional mic for vlogging, TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook. And this thing is jammed packed with features so we are just going to get right into it guys okay guys here we go we got the full aim just comes in this plastic here just like this so you have to get through this tape here first so we're going to get through that once we get through that there's a little more tape down here we're going to get through through all that, we're going to pull it out of the plastic. It's good that it's wrapped like this because I did have a package the other day come like this. And uh, they dumped it right in the water. So it's good that it has that plastic around it. If you look here, there's a little arrow that points up. And it says to open it that direction, which is good. And it's kind of a magnet right there. It's neat. It's super neat. This is a cool box. That's magnetized. This is the model VL21TX as it's check marked here. There's also a VL22TX and it comes with all these different things, but we're gonna get it right open. So the magnets, we lift them up and you can see the little magnets inside of here as well. They're down inside of there. You just fold the lid open like this. There's some product instructions right off the bat. We're gonna set those to the side and we have some foam here. So we're gonna take that off <clears throat> inside here we can see everything we can see this little black case which we're going to set that to the side but here's the sender and it has this little mic input right here with the little screw on the top portion of it and there's our antenna kind of flops around there it does have a screen protector on it and there's two buttons here one says power the other one's just got a logo it looks like a connection logo and then underneath we have a micro USB and we have a little light here and then there's a clip so you can clip it to your side or your shirt or wherever. Probably you would clip this to your pocket or your belt, something like that. So there is that clip option. So we're going to set that there. And then inside of here we also have, this is the attachment that we're going to use for the phone. And you can see right here that it is already set up for an iPhone. So it does have that. And then it also has a little headphone symbol here where you can plug directly into it as well. And then there's some little lights down here. And the lights say power, and then there's a mic light, and then there's a Wi-Fi like connection light right there. And it comes covered, so it does protect it. So we're gonna put that back on there for now. Nothing else, there's a couple cutouts. This would be if you, you were to have two of these antennas, I'm sure. And then there's another cutout here, but nothing in it. Nice foam, nice packaging. They did a really, really good job with that. So we don't have to worry about it getting damaged and shipping. And we love good packaging. This magnet's just super cool. But now we're going to get to the box. So there's this black box here as well. So you just pop this open. Inside of here, we got a couple little baggies. Nothing else. We're going to get rid of that. Get rid of that. And right here, we have a... USB-A to micro USB. That's going to be where we're plugging it in down here. And it does come with this little rubber band on it. And then inside of here we have our mic. If we look inside of here, we got a little clip so we can clip this to the lapel. It does come with this foam padding over top of it. And it's kind of spring loaded here so you can kind of turn it and adjust it which is really nice little feature there. You could rotate it and adjust it however you need to. And then this is the area where this is going to screw on right to here. So we're going to screw that. We're going to snap this in and we're going to screw this down and it's going to hold it real good. I like that feature. It gives you that added protection of where this isn't going to pull out. Sometimes if you get these mics, you'll notice that this pulled out and you don't notice. And that's the problem. You don't notice when your, your sound cuts off. That's a huge, huge problem. So we have ran into lots of issues like that, and that's the main reason we didn't like these before. But we thought we would give this one a try for a second chance because it is nice to have wireless, especially to your phone like this. With the phones being able to record such good quality, we want to have this kind of feature. 
especially if you're out and about we want to attach it to our gimbal if you haven't seen our gimbal review yet make sure to check that out as well we'll leave a link for you guys so under here is where it plugs in and this is just simply to charge it so we can plug it in and charge it and get it going um, I believe that this thing is partially charged already you can see here that there's a red light on that shows that it is charging and this screen protector so we're gonna unplug that for now but the screen protector here comes off just like that and then we can see the nice display there and the power button you just hold it down and this gives you the channel that you're on how many megahertz how charged it is it does have two bars so it is pretty well charged and then over here we have an on and off switch with the LCF off or on and that's it for that so this LCF function is a low cut switch and you could set this position to on and the low, fun low cut function will be set on if you set it off you can set the low cut function off this button right here is our channel button so if you see whenever I click that the channels do change right there So we have some channel changing happening and that's just going to get us to our best frequency so that we don't have any interruptions in the signal the frequency range on this is 470 to 510 megahertz it does have modulation and the frequency response is 50 hertz to 18 kilohertz it is a condenser omnidirectional so it will this mic here will read in all directions so now that we see this thing out of the package, we're going to get this thing on a gimbal. We're going to get this plugged into the phone. We're going to put this on a gimbal, and we're going to let you guys hear what it sounds like directly attached to the phone. Okay, guys, we are out here right now, and we're going to go all the way down. Well, first, we're going to go to the first meter here, which is our first stop, and that's at about 10 meters. Then we're going to go all the way to 30 meters and see if you guys can still hear us through this okay at 30 meters. So here we go. We're going to start the walk. So right at this distance. So right now we're at about 10 meters. You can see how far away we are. We're right down here and hopefully we're still transmitting really well. If we look at our transmitter box, it looks like everything's okay. We're at 509.1 on the frequency range right now. So we're going to go further. Alright guys, the 20 meter mark, hopefully you can still see us down here. You can see just how far away you are. And we're going to keep going. We're going to hit. I don't know if anybody that would get this far, but we have hit it. We're at 30 meters right here. You guys can see just how far away we are. We're way, way, way out there. And hopefully we're still transmitting good. Uh, the cool thing about this is that if you're outside doing some motion shots, things like that, right now I have my Osmo set up on, or my phone set up on my Osmo, on my gimbal, so everything's good. And you can do something like that to where the Osmo will follow you. You can do your shooting tracks like this and have a mic. You could still be heard really good with good quality. I don't think that I would ever shoot this far away. Maybe a little bit closer than this would be max distance. Probably right about here. I could still have it follow me and hopefully the quality is good from, from this range here. Alright guys, I wanted to put this thing kind of in a situation where there would be other background noises and there is. There's some wind and some things like that but Right here, you can kind of hear the rocks really well if I step on them. So what we're going to do is we're going to step on these rocks. And then we're going to turn this LCF lock on. See if it changes any. 
right now you should be able to hear them pretty good and lock is going on lock is on right now I don't know if that's going to change but I thought I'd give it a shot something cool to to try out cool thing is like I said the setup is super easy and the portability this thing's just clipped right here to my pocket I got the mic up here on my lapel and it fits real nice and snug I don't have to worry about it falling off if I'm shaking or moving around it stays in place it doesn't really go anywhere so I really like that it's strong and it does have that little spongy filter on it as well. So basically I just wanted you guys to see this thing or to hear this thing, not see this thing. I wanted you guys to be able to hear it from a distance. Make sure that the quality was still there. But like I said, you never shoot that far away. So anything in this range, I'm happy with. If it sounds good right here, I'm good to go. Hey guys, we were just kind of nerding out on this mic. This thing's impressive. I think the, uh, the overall quality of it is just really good and I, and I'm kind of surprised by it because it is just a you know just a small little lavalier and I've had no luck with these things this is actually the first one that I've ever had good luck with and I just think it's super super cool I mean it's really lightweight it's not heavy whatsoever it does come with this cool little clip it doesn't take very long to charge I mean it charged pretty fast we we just plugged it in for a couple minutes to see how fast it would charge and it charged up pretty quickly i like the channel features i like that if there's interruptions on the channels that you're going to be in good shape you don't have to worry much i like that i can see the transmission i like that i can see how well my voice is projecting through this all the time i never have to worry about it dropping off and if it does drop off i can see it drop off I just look at the little light and it's there you know and it is uh it's really cool to use with your gimbal it's really cool to use for like motion scenes or outdoor scenes especially because um if you're using this thing for that you can hook this up to your lapel you can plug it in or clip it to your side and you can do your action shots with it and it's going to pick up everything and I think that's great. I use my gimbal a lot for those type of shots and things like that. And I never really had a wireless way to, you know, transmit my voice through until now. And so this thing is definitely going to be a daily driver for me. I'm going to use this thing all the time. I think I might even finish out the rest of the video with this. If you guys are nerds, which hopefully a lot of you are, that's why you're watching these videos. Um, you'll stay to the end where we go over all the tech specs because this thing is just massively loaded with with cool things we wanted to give you some real live um, action we wanted you guys to see how well it does from a major distance and just overall the the quality of it like I said this thing's down here it's hanging out to the side it's not even up here right now it should probably be facing my mouth a little bit more um, in this direction, but the cool part about it is is that I don't have to worry too much if it's not Because it is going to transmit it is going to sound good And it does have that LCF cutoff feature which we've had mostly off But I think that uh, if you use that it's going to tone out some of the background noises So stick with us guys. We're going to go over some tech specs and We want you guys to stay along for the ride. Hey guys, like I said, this thing is loaded with specs it's just it's just massive so the features and details this thing's compatible with iOS devices virtually all of them it's compatible compatible with the iPhone 7 all the way up so the 8 the 8 plus the X the XR it's good with the 11 the 13 12 Pro Max the iPad series all the iPad minis all the iPad pros it does not have type C support it's not supported, so this is going to only be good if you have an iPhone. It is plug and play. There's no app or Bluetooth needed with this. It's got excellent sound quality, in my opinion. And the noise reduction is just a really cool added feature. The wireless lapel microphone built-in high-performance omnidirectional pickup. It's got a high degree of reproductive uh, sound, which provides you with pretty, pretty good crystal clear sound. 
Each transmitter has a low cut switch, which can reduce the ambient low frequency noise, bringing you a professional recording experience. It's got optional channels and volume. You can change the volume on it and you can change the channels. And like I said, the coolest part about it is that you can- Hey guys, here- Plug and play, like it's just hook up and ready. And I like the little antenna, it kind of flops around, it's not sturdy, you know, to where it kind of pokes you or gets in the way. So the Lavalier mic system adopts the most advanced UHF technology with up to 22 optional UHF frequencies ranging from 470 to 510 megahertz with strong anti-interference. It's more stable. The working distance is up to 30 meters. You guys saw that in the test. It can go pretty far. At the same time, in, in terms of volume, there are a total of 11 volume levels from 0 to 10 to choose from. And the daylight display on the transmitter can read and display reception quality, battery status, and the channel, which is great. I mean, how many Lavalier mics do we know that give you all those options? Not too many out there. Um, if you get multiple transmitters, each transmitter can be powered by a built-in lithium ion powered battery, which is very cool. This battery gives you up to six hours of battery life to cope with long-term shooting. I don't know anybody that would shoot that long, but you do have that, which is really, really nice. It does charge pretty fast. We plugged it in to charge it, and it charged up within, I would say, 25 minutes from about a little under halfway. The receiver is directly powered by the recording equipment, and the power consumption is extremely low, and that is very true. In addition, the mini wireless microphone is small and portable, which makes it very nice. And it's probably going to be your best partner for outdoor recording, especially if you want to just hook this thing up to your phone, throw it on your gimbal, and get some good mic quality. The real-time monitoring function of the lavalier uh, can test whether it's working properly during recording, eliminate irritating sounds, and ensure smooth recording when recording with YouTube, vlogging, TikTok, and other videos. The post-editing of the videos is greatly reduced, making your recording easier and more convenient. And that's what we love about it the most because, like I said, with other mics that we've had like this, it's, it's just been a nightmare as far as drop-off and things like that. I don't see me being any further than three meters with this thing. And you saw how far we were able to go with it. So definitely a mic for you guys to check out. If you guys want to get one of your very own, I will leave a link down in the description below so that you guys can get your own. And if you guys like this channel, make sure you mash the like button. It helps you YouTube's algorithms to get our videos out there to other people that like this same type of reviews, this tech stuff, right? And also subscribe to the channel. Check out our podcast at JMedia1. And we will see you guys for the next tech review. Thanks for hanging with us, guys. Later.